Good afternoon, everybody. Today's verse of the day is second or third John. I'm sorry, third John 1 11. And this is from the New King James Version. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. So I wanted to look at this in the Word. So I had pulled up Second John 1 by accident, one eleven, and it actually says, Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your home, your house, nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. That's crazy. So then, all right, let me go to Third John, one eleven, like I was supposed to in the beginning. And it says, "Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God." And over here, these are some scriptures that uh, reference scriptures for that. Um, if anybody wants to screenshot it or jot those down for further study. But I felt that to be really cool that we went to 2 John one eleven, And it was basically, that was by accident. But he's basically saying this again. You know, um, he says in verse 7, For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. They don't believe that that God actually sent his son, but it was God in the flesh. It was Jesus Christ as a man. They don't believe that he came down in, in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. I know that we say it, especially right now people you hear people talk about the antichrist a lot and it's not just one there are, there's many there's many antichrists that that you'll read about in the word and you can sense and you can discern actually um when you are walking with god and you are staying prayed up staying in the word um, and not just reading it, not just doing it as a habit and, okay, I've done this for today, so I'm good. I should be walking in the spirit. No, we have to, it's no difference than <clears throat> if you want a good marriage, if you want a good relationship with who you're going to marry, if you want a good relationship with your friend, with anyone, um, it is you have to get to know them. You have to get to know Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. If not, the word says right here, this is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things we worked for, but that we may receive a full reward. And... Uh, and at the bottom, you know, he talks about wanting to come see them. And, you know, he has so many things to write. But um, he wants to speak to them face to face that their joy may be full. Um, that was the end of the letter. But how cool was that? That Second John one eleven and Third John one eleven both kind of give us the same thing. So it must be really important, right? Because there's a lot of other scriptures that it showed there that um that you can go to different you can go to different verses and find the same thing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that and um yeah if you want some more of just the uh bible reading uh give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments guys um because we can do this i find it very great again Today's verse of the day is, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God. 
but he is who does he but he who does evil has not seen God. <laughs> Thank you. All glory to God. Have a great day, guys.